The Onslow Belmont Fire Hall was being used as a comfort center when it became the source of trauma, shot up by two police officers. I believed that I was firing my carbine at the killer. But they were mistaken. A real RCMP officer was in his car in the parking lot and caught in the confusion. Who are you shooting at? The original two officers say they thought they had Gabriel Workman, who was in the midst of a killing spree. I believe that person was going inside the building to kill people. I knew we had to stop him. But it wasn't the gunman, rather an emergency management coordinator standing next to a police car wearing a high visibility vest. So while I'm yelling commands, uh, he ducks down. And at that point, I don't know if he's coming up again with a gun. At that time, the officers knew the shooter was driving a replica police cruiser and believed he was wearing an orange vest. Inside the fire hall, two firefighters were hiding. They previously testified they're still traumatized after being fired upon. To hear them continue to tell the same story that they've, they've told all along, um, you know, it, it just adds to the, to the anxiety. Both officers were previously cleared of any wrongdoing by Nova Scotia's independent police watchdog. They maintain, given the information they had, they wouldn't have done anything differently. On that day, I gave... <clears throat> I gave my all. I am sorry for what the firemen went through. It was a hard day for many people that day. The firefighters say the apology means nothing to them because it came two years too late. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.